Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. My name is Kenzie. If you did not know that, then now you know. And you guys, today we're doing a full review on my Marc Jacobs mini tote bag in the leather. If this is your first time ever seeing me, then hello, I'm so happy to have you. My name is Kenzie. I make a lot of videos about luxury handbags, luxury fashion, travel, jewelry, but mostly handbags. I like those a lot, but today we have a review. If any of that sounds fun to you, if you like the idea, then I would ask you to consider clicking the subscribe button to give this video a like and ding a little bell down there so you're notified every time we upload. And you guys, without any further ado, let's get on into the review. So I have had this bag for about three-ish months now. I got it at the middle of January, like January 15th-ish, and it's almost April. So I have had it for a little while. We are doing a full review on this bag. We're gonna go into the pricing of this bag. We're gonna go into the wearability, how the quality is, if I think you should buy it, just pretty much everything that, we, that you would get into when doing a review. Just starting off with the look of this bag, it is of course a by Marc Jacobs, as you can see right here. And this is in the mini size, and mine is in the color Twine. I could not find this color anywhere on the Marc Jacobs website, on Nordstrom, or any kind of other reseller. I had to go to Amazon to find this color. I'm not sure if it was like an Amazon exclusive color or if the color twine was really popular and sold out very quickly and they never restocked it or maybe they replaced the color twine with a different color, I have no idea. But as far as I know, the color twine is not on the Marc Jacobs website and the only place that I found it was Amazon. I will have a link in the description for you to look on my Amazon storefront because I do have it listed there. So there's that. I wanted just to kind of give you that little piece of information. As you can see, it has this little plaque on the back. And this bag I do believe was originally around like $375. I do believe that it went up in price recently. I think it had a price increase. So I paid, let me look on Amazon. I want to say it was like $380 or something like that. Yeah, the color twine is still on here. And they also have the argon oil color, the black. They have a navy blue and red. But yeah, the twine color is still listed here. And it's right now being sold for $395. I don't think I paid that much for it. I think I paid around 380 ish dollars for this bag, but it has had a price increase even on Marc Jacobs' website. It used to be $375 and now it has increased to $395. It does come with its own crossbody strap that looks like this. I did do a full unboxing of this bag, so if you want to know what fits inside, then I will refer you to that video. I'll have it linked in the description for you if you want to see what all fits inside. I wish it came with like a thicker one. This one is a pretty small strap and then it has the little clasps right here little lobster clasps and they say Marc Jacobs on the front and then on the inside of the bag it does have one bigger kind of slip pocket and then it has a smaller pocket I've actually got some contacts in there because I was using this bag before and then the rest of the bag is just like an open hole as you can see now do I think that this bag is still worth it after the price increase I personally do it's still under the $400 mark maybe after like shipping and taxes depending on where you get it from it might go over $400 but I still think it is worth it let me just kind of go over quickly the dimensions and all of that good stuff with you so it is full gray leather that's what it says it doesn't say what type of leather so I'm going to assume cow leather or something and then it is 10 inches in length it is 5 inches in depth and it is 8 inches in height so that's the dimensions of the bag the handle drop is four inches. The strap length, like the crossbody strap, the strap length is 57 inches long and two inches in depth. And then the strap drop is 27 inches. So if you wanted to wear it like on your shoulder, something like that. I personally think this bag is definitely worth it even at $395. I think that price increase is not too much of a price increase and it's not going to affect your buying power. Like I feel like if you are somebody that didn't want to buy the bag when it was $375, you're still not going to want to buy the bag at $395. But if you were somebody that was happy paying the price of $375, I don't feel like it's enough of a price 
increase for you to be like, oh, I'm not sure I wanna pay that extra 20 bucks. Um, let's go over the wearability of this bag, like the styling, how casual is it, stuff like that. So this bag, I would definitely consider to be a very casual everyday bag. If you're like going into the office, if you commute to work, then I think this bag would be amazing. It's a great work tote. It's not huge, so if you are gonna be carrying like bigger pieces, then I would go with like the medium size or something because this will fit my medium Louis Vuitton agenda, but it does not fit my iPad. My iPad is a iPad Pro, like one of the big ones, like 16 inches. If you are looking for something to fit your iPad, then I would probably recommend getting like an iPad mini. It does fit water bottles, like absolutely it will fit a full size water bottle. Or if you have like a smaller thermos or something that is like, around this high, you can stand it up or something. I personally would recommend getting a organizer for this bag. I have not done that yet, so I'm being a hypocrite, only because the way that I pack this, this bag, it's very organized anyways, so I don't feel like I need an organizer for this bag, but I would recommend one if you are somebody that wants to use an organizer. If you like stuff like that, then of course, it, it would very much benefit, especially if you got an organizer with a cup holder in it, it'd be great. But it does fit water bottles like on the bottom of the bag, but I will say that in my opinion, this is 100% just a casual everyday bag. This would not be a nighttime bag or a formal bag or a going out bag or anything like that. You can absolutely wear it that way. Like if you want to wear it that way and if you wanna take this out for a night on the town, be my guest. It does not matter. You do whatever you want to do. For me, in my opinion, I feel like there are other bags out there and other bags that I have in my collection that I would much prefer to take on a night out than, you know, carrying this with me. But it's entirely up to you. Now let's talk about the ways you can actually wear this bag. I should have already done that, but of course you can see you have this top handle right here, which you can use to, of course, top handle the back. So you can do it like this. You can wear it over the crook of your elbow. You can, you cannot shoulder bag this bag when it's like this. It has to have the crossbody strap, but you can do that. So as a shoulder bag, and then of course you can crossbody it as well. So top handle, shoulder bag, and crossbody bag, three ways you can wear it. So it is of course very versatile. If you are somebody that likes to crossbody your bags a lot, that I would definitely see you crossbodying this and just rocking it like that. I'm personally not somebody that loves to crossbody my bags. So I typically wear this one as a top handle or on my shoulder. I actually do like wearing it on my shoulder a lot. It can get a little heavy though. I don't know if that really means anything because like I feel like the more stuff you put in the bag, the more heavy it's gonna get. So it's not really the bag's fault that it gets heavy, but the bag in general without anything in it is very light. Like it's probably maybe a pound. This is like a pretty sturdy bag. Like it's full leather and it's really light for being the type of material that it is and for being as big as it is. I know this is not like a massive tote bag, but it's still considered a tote bag and it is very, very light. But once you start putting stuff in it, it can get pretty heavy. Let's go over wear and tear. I, again, have had this bag for going on three-ish months and it's been my everyday bag up until recently and to be honest now that I'm talking about this bag I think I'm gonna turn around and make this my everyday bag again. I kind of miss carrying it. There has been literally no issues when it comes to the quality of this bag. It is still in perfect condition. There's not even any like color change or anything like that. It is quite a light bag. I have personally not had to worry with color transfer at all when it comes to this bag. But then again, I don't usually crossbody this bag. So I feel like if I did have an issue with color transfer, it would only really show itself if I crossbodied it. It goes with every single piece of clothing in my wardrobe. Literally no issues with the quality, no issues with any stitching coming undone, any snags, any tears. It literally looks the exact same as when I first got it. Only thing that I could probably say is that the leather has relaxed just a tiny, tiny bit just from being like stretched out when I put my stuff in it and just from being used and like shaken around and like twisted. I mean, I don't, try to twist my bags. But like, you know, if I'm like getting in the car and I threw it <laughs> onto the passenger seat or something like that, you can, you can tell that it's been used. It is like a little more, as you can see, relaxed 
but that's about it. Nothing on the bottom, no color markings, no scrapes, no scratches. It is literally in perfect condition. Now let's talk about if I think that you should get this bag like the mini size over like the smaller medium. I want to say I really tried to look for this before but I think they might have discontinued the small size and just swapped over into the medium because there's a micro, a mini. The mini might have just become the new small and then there's a medium and a large. So let me just look to see if there's a small. No, there's not. So the small doesn't exist anymore. Did the small ever exist? Like I swear I saw it before. Like it was like micro, mini, small, medium, large. I honestly don't know. Maybe it never existed and I'm just crazy. But the next step up from this is gonna be the medium. Now the difference between this one and the medium is the medium is $250 and it is 13 inches in length, six inches in depth and 11 inches in height. It'll fit a 13 inch laptop, but it will not fit a 16 inch laptop. So if you have like a 16 inch MacBook Pro, is not gonna fit, you would have to get the large. So if you are debating between this one and the medium, I would say, honestly, this one is $395, the medium size is $450. If you are somebody that actually would use this for work, I would probably go with the medium. I don't go anywhere, I only stay home and I go to like Target, Publix, Kroger, you know, just places around. So I don't really go anywhere that would warrant me to carry a bigger bag than this. This is the biggest bag that I own. <laughs> but if you are somebody that needs to carry a laptop with you, if you're somebody that needs to carry a bigger iPad, if you're somebody that wants to carry a big water bottle or like a big thermos, I would actually go with the medium size. I love this bag and I recommend it so, so much. So if you're here wondering if I think this bag, the mini size is good, yes, one million percent I'm obsessed with it and I would 1 million percent buy it again I absolutely adore and love this bag but if it's a little too small for you and if you need it for more like practical work stuff I actually might even go with the medium or large depending on what you're doing and of course they have the micro bags too which I love so much and I really want to get one of the micro bags at some point now let's go into a couple of cons that I have noticed with this bag. Let me just start off by saying there's not very many cons at all. The only two cons that I have on this bag is that I do wish the handles were a little more floppy. One thing that I have realized and one reason why I just do not like to crossbody this bag is that the handles just stick straight up. So when it's on me, it really just digs into my chest and like it digs into like my rib cage, not my chest, my rib cage right down here. So it does kind of get annoying when I wear it crossbody it's not very often that I wear it crossbody, but I feel like if the straps kind of like flopped downwards like my Lady Dior or like flopped to one side, it would be a lot more comfortable wearing a crossbody. So therefore I might wear it crossbody more often. I don't know. But yeah, that is one thing that I have noticed when wearing a crossbody or just in general is that the straps are very stiff and rigid and they don't move to either side. The only other con that I would say is that I do wish that this bag had a tiny bit more structure. I don't love that the sides jut out like this. This one, not as much. I don't love the fact that it does that. I try to always like push it inwards just because I think it just looks nicer. It looks more put together and like streamlined as a square and then having this side just be all out and floppy with these wings. I don't love that look. So I do wish that the sides were a little more structured inwards. I understand why they did it this way because I think Marc Jacobs was just trying to make this like an all around, very casual, loose, fun, friendly kind of bag. Nothing too intimidating, nothing too difficult to deal with. So that's why they probably made it really flimsy on the side right here so you could fit more stuff in it. Um, I personally wish it looked more like this and not like this but that's just my little nitpick you guys that has been my review on my Marc Jacobs mini tote bag in the leather in the color twine uh, let me know in the comments what you think of this bag let me know what you think of this line of bags in general do you have one of the tote bags uh, whether it be a canvas or a leather version do you have a small medium micro
grow large. The small doesn't exist anymore. So never mind that. Just leave me a comment down below telling me anything because I'm nosy and I want to know that. But you guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, then go ahead and click up the like button for me and the subscribe if you want to. And be sure to ding the little bell down there so you're notified every time I upload. And you guys, I'll see you in the next video. Bye!